Hello everyone, welcome to Game Cottage. My name is Meredith and in today's video I am going to be walking through blocking out a basic walk cycle using Maya. The rig I'm going to be using in this video is Stuart uh, by Animation Mentor. It's available for free through them. I'll put a link in the description below if you would like to go and download Stuart or you can follow along with any rig that you would prefer. The process is going to be exactly the same. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is bring in your rig as a reference. To do so, you would just go to File, Create Reference, and then choose the rig from the folder that you have saved it in. You also want to make sure that your time slider is set to 25 frames since that is the number of frames in a standard walk cycle. You also want to make sure that your auto key is turned on. It will save you a lot of headache uh, not having to set all your keys manually. Also, this is personal preference, but I do like to make sure I have everything unchecked except for this right here, which is for NURBS curves. It just ensures that when I'm clicking around in here, I'm only selecting the controllers that I need to and not any geometry, which is bad. I don't want to put any weird keys on geometry and mess it up. Also, I like to make sure that the only things I have checked in my show menu in my viewport is NURBS curves and polygons. Again, that's just preference, but I think it's really helpful that I only see what I need to. To get started, what we need to do is to put in the key poses for our walk cycle, and there's four of those. The contact pose, the down or low pose, the passing pose, and the high pose. So that's contact, low, passing, and high. So we're going to start with the contact poses. I'm just going to work in a side view here. It just gives me a better idea of what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to go ahead and block in my first pose. I want to make sure that this, the front leg is not hyperextended because you will get some knee popping um, as it comes forward and extends back into the next contact pose. So I want to just relax this pose a little bit. That should do it just fine. If not, we can tweak that once we get to the polish stage, but for now, that's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and do the arms as well. Um, there are very, uh, values in these already. I'm just going to zero them out and tweak them from there. And do you want to be careful when you're setting the arms that they're moving opposite of what the legs are doing. So if the right foot is forward, the right arm should be back. Not like that. It should be back like that. And then, you know, same on the other side. So there is the first contact pose, and what I'm going to do is select all of my nerves and hit S. And that is going to put a key on everything in one. And I do want my first frame and my last frame on 25 to be exactly the same because they're going to be looping. So a quick way to copy all of this instead of having to do it one by one by one Go ahead and make sure everything is selected. Middle mouse click and drag to 25, let it go and hit S. And then when you click between them, 
you'll notice that they're exactly the same. So then we're going to go to 13, which is the midway point, and it's going to be the next contact pose where the legs switch places. So this is pretty easy to do. Since I already have the values in there, I'm just going to switch them. Add a negative or remove a negative as needed. And switch up the arms as well. be safe that I have everything keyed. I'm going to select everything and hit S and all of the contact poses are in now. So when you scrub through the timeline or hit play, you'll see we've got sort of a back and forth going a semi walk. So next we're going to put in the low poses. So first thing I'm going to do is take the cog or the center of gravity and I'm going to move it down. Excellent. So we'll go from there and then 16 is the low pose after the next contact. So I'm just going to middle mouse drag over to 16, hit S, and then that will be keyed for the second low pose as well. Another thing, the back foot is propelling you forward, so it should be moved back a little bit further instead of coming forward. So it'll push back and then come forward. And then with that, we want to just add a little bit more to the foot roll. And the front foot should be flat as it's made full contact with the plane. Like that. Then we'll go over here to 16 and sort of repeat the exact same process. Move the leg further back, add a bit more roll to the foot, and make sure that the front foot is fully in contact with the, with the floor plane. Now I'm not going to do too much with the passing pose as this is good, but I do want to make sure that the foot that is coming backwards stays flush, full contact with the ground. And the foot that is coming forward, we're going to raise it up some, take out the foot roll, and add a rotation. see see how that looks and that should be good for now also go ahead and just select everything and hit s to make sure everything is keyed now we'll just do that on our keys just to be sure the next passing pose is over here on 19 and we're just going to repeat the same process again Foot should be in contact with the floor plane. The foot coming forward should be up. Great. And the last pose that we're going to put in is going to be the high pose, which is going to be on 10 and 22. And the high pose, go ahead and do the cog. And we're gonna just zero that out for now. And when he scrubs, you'll see he pops up. And that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have everything keyed. on all of my key poses. If you want to just play it, see how it looks, 
go ahead and change your time slider to 24 so then you won't get a duplicate frame as it cycles. And that is how it looks with the key poses blocked out. Looks good. So in the next video, I will go over polishing and cleaning up the graph editor and making sure that the walk looks natural, adding some overlap, um, and it'll look spectacular once we're all done. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Bye.